Hey, you are live. We are live. Here we are. Holy moly. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hopefully everyone's having a good night. It's Friday night tonight. Friday night. Can you believe you that? You see how lame Neil and I are. Nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do again on here. But... Hey, why not? We drink some whiskey, hang out with some cool people. This, this is a good Friday night, actually. I'm just mm -hmm. trash talking. Jerk. I know. <laughs> well, what do we got tonight, buddy? So, buddy, tonight we're going to do have like a little duel. We are going to do the... Can you see that? I don't know how well you can see it. Let me just get out of the... Get out. We're going to do the Russell's Reserve single barrel versus rare breed because they are coming out of the same camp in a sense right yeah so we yeah, figure yeah, yeah, uh -huh. we were having this conversation like hey you know we should put the up against each other and see what happens let's see you know the challenge it and uh we figured what the heck we'll do it as live so here we're at we're here you're there yep this is where we're at but we're all together here technically technically technical mm-hmm we have a couple. I mean, we were pre-gaming a little bit. So. Oh, we of course we had a little that little Pennsylvania. Yep. We got some people in here, buddy. Can you believe that people want to hang out with us? I'm I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ryan. We got Brian. Um, who else just popped in? Mike. Oh yeah, man. We got uh, Ossie from Bottle and Bond. What's going on, us. A little Scott action. Um. Oh, whiskey straight out. There he is. Ow. He's always showing us love. We appreciate that, Al. <laughs> and there's a little bit of mic action in here. Oh, so um, quick question. That Russell's Reserve single barrel is... You want to tell that Oh, I, this quick? was... Um, I actually picked this up at Liquor Barn in Kentucky. Uh, I know I've said it before, but uh, my wife's family, some of her family lived down there, and we were down there, and... I ventured into the liquor barn. So this is their um their pick of it, basically. So is that cheating? Eh, no, no. I guess it gives cheating. it a leg up though. Maybe. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I've had it and I've always maybe. thought it was good. So liquor barn store pick. Uh yeah, and then this Russell's or oh, not Russell's. Jeez, see, this is where my brain is. Yeah, I'm gonna get I everything understand. confused tonight. Uh so this rare breed for all the geeks out there, um, this is the L L H L. Which I just learned that the LL, you always see that. So the laser code in the back. But then after that, the H is like the year that it was dropped. So okay. H apparently is 2019. Gotcha. And then the, after, the letter after that's the the month. So kind of interesting. I, yeah. I never knew that. It was like a little bar, like a little laser code. I'm just like, what the heck? So. Hmm. Yay. All right. All right. Well, uh, so what do we want to start off with? Do we want to do, do we want to know? Do you? I guess we have to know because we really didn't set this up for a blind. We are a little unprepared for that. So I'm going to, this is what we'll do. We're going to set it up. You done with that one, buddy? All right. You can put All that, right, over, there, put that over there. I'm going to set you up here. Okay. What's up, Will? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Press man. What's up, dude? <laughs> All right. I'm going to set you up. All right. So we're going to go. We got a little rare breed we're pouring in. So, so we're going to we'll keep both that out. Yep, yeah. We're going to keep that on our right side. Yeah, we're just going to kind of see what's going on with both of these. We, we know both of these pretty well overall. Um, but we've never back-to-back. -back that's No, we never back-to-back. -back which I, I think this is just kind of like a really big battle because it's coming out, of, obviously, out of the same distillery, um, different locations, because I've heard that the rare breed they're pulling from um, – they're pulling from, like, you know, top, bottom, maybe some middle – but I think with the Russell's Reserve single barrel, they're mostly pulling out of the middle of the warehouses. So I've so I've heard. So um, that's the word on the street. That's words. the word on the street. All right. I made a little bit of a mess. You Sorry about son that. Son of a wasting it. All right. It says new bottles. Never pour right. <laughs> the other difference between this two, buddy, just before we get started, is one is non-chill filtered, which is the Russell's Reserve single barrel. And then the rare breed is chill filtered. Gotcha. That could be a big difference, uh, you know. I know that means a lot to you. It usually You're a big does. fan of the non-chill filter. So. No, the the new rare breed rye that just came out. Yeah, that's non-chill filter. Uh -huh. You see this? Uh -huh. You see this? All right. So, 
Any any guesses? Anybody have any guesses of which one is going to be top dog for us? Yeah, because the, these are going to be. I mean, they're going to be similar, but they're going to be very different because you get, you know, you get your proof points are close. Are, yeah. Um, yeah. What's the proof on? Yeah, the proof on the. Um, this is fifty five. This is fifty eight. Yeah. Change so. So this has it, a little bit more proof. To tiny bit. Breed. Yeah. Yeah. So that that could be that could be enough to sway you maybe. 110. It could. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So are we are we gonna make a big deal out of which one we try first? Are we sniffing both? Like, how are we doing this? That didn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> now, which one was this, buddy? All right. So I'm keeping them in. So that way you know. Don't mix your glasses. Up. Sorry, you guys. You can't see our bottle. Sorry. It's yeah. like the camera angle. So we apologize for yeah, that. Yeah, very much apologize. Budget cuts on the production. <laughs> yeah, we lo we lost five million dollars <laughs> yesterday. So we had to uh, aim the camera up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to start with the rare breed. You're going to start rare breed. All right. So rare breed is right for me, correct? Yes, because there's a rare breed. Let me, maybe I should, instead, you guys can see, I'll turn towards Neil so he keeps track of which one's which. <laughs> I'm losing hey, it, buddy. You are. Big Al, before we get started, Big Al said uh, he he's saying um, rare yeah. breed. And I'm going to agree that it's tough to beat. And the only reason I thought about this whole comparing the two is I haven't had Russell single barrel in a long time. And I bought this bottle and actually I waited a while to open it, mm -hmm. opened it. And I was like, man, I wonder this is good. And I was I hadn't had it in a couple of years and was, you know, very happy about it. And then I was like, man, I wonder how it compares. But I didn't have a bottle to compare it to because I'm like rare breed is like one of my go to's. Oh, yeah. So I definitely support Al and all that. Yeah, I think they're both knockouts, you know. So this this is, is going to be tough. So I'm just going to go off with the rare breed. I'm getting um, it's a it's not actually on this pour. I'm it's kind of now the bottle just got open, so I'm, I'm kind of um the bottle for Neil is only like an hour and a half old. <laughs> I was like. I was like, shit, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the damn bottle. I was like, because I, I I had something else, which I, well, maybe we'll get to. And I didn't have this, the most recent rare breed. And I was like, I had to run out mm. in my pajamas. So with rare breed, I, I always get a great um, amount of baking spices. and Yeah, it's coming off a little spicy right now. Yeah, and great caramels. And, um, of course, with Rare Breed, I, the one spice that really pops out for me, it, it reminds me of this uh, kind of the allspice, like gr or like maybe like nutmeg, something that's very Like particular. a baking spice. Yeah, or, very narrow it down to it. Yeah. Because, you know, with wild turkey, you can kind of smell, they say that whole funk thing, the wild turkey funk. But kind of how I put it towards is it, it smells like it's kind of like an older distillate, meaning like before the whole... Like maybe like dusty bottles, as they call them, like, uh, you know, stuff that they were doing maybe before the 1980s, when, you know, the stuff that they were pumping out that wasn't like, it wasn't perfect. It was, they didn't have everything clean and all the technology. Right. It was a like, little dirty. Yeah, little, yeah. A little grimy. Well, I'm just going to sip on the on the rare breed real quick because the nose is, nose is subtle. This I don't remember. It's been a little bit since I had rare breed. It's starting to open it, up a little bit now that it's been in the glass. See, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I'm kind of doing a little back and forth comparison, and I am noticing back and forth. I am noticing a little difference. So we strain from the plan, buddy. Well, I didn't think we had a. We plan. didn't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why we want to keep it raw, keep it live, keep it real, right? <laughs> no plan. We just we're just going at it. Well, it's uh, Russell's pick. So this is um, from Ooh, was it Liquor go. Barn? This is Liquor Barn in Kentucky. Liquor Barn. Yep, yeah. and um, this one's called. What's the name of this pick? I uh, oh dome shots. <laughs> yeah, they they got it. They got it. They uh. I love I love names of picks. I know it's it's hilarious. So they do a good job down there. I mean, Liquor Barn was actually a really nice place. Yeah, they, so they're right. big. They're big down there. I'm gonna go in for the rare breed and see what I've got. Right. Cheers, cheers, buddy. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, else, everybody. Too. Great mouthfeel. That stuff's solid. Great mouthfeel. Great spice rise in the back. See, this is why 
Nice great finish. This is probably like the one of the few that I'm like get in the mood man. for. Like, man, I could really go for like poor little rare breed tonight. Like, I actually get in the mood to have that particular whiskey, and I don't don't know why, but I might be able I mean, to I know explain, why. But, yeah, but go ahead, buddy. I think for me, it's kind of like the, it got this this savory aspect to it that makes your mouth water. Um, it's like just got the, enough barrel tannins in there that pulls a little bit but it's not overly done and then you get you get good spice yeah but then there's a great sweetness to it but it's not overpowering like sometimes like buffalo trace just gets too too sweet for me it's like it's like this real sweet sweet hmm. apple thing that comes out with buffalo trace like caramel apples kind of thing. yeah and a lot of people you know here some people you know taste cherries and all that stuff but um what's up jason and I think it just hits everything. That's where the rare breed, I think, is just like something that's just right on the money for me. Oh, go ahead. What, what's oh, yeah. So what we have, the warehouse is A, and the floor is, I'm going to say that's a four. It's a little smudged. I'd say that's four. Were you yeah, sleeping a, with this thing, buddy? Or... I colored up with it. I sweated on it. <laughs> <laughs> you were smudging it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, A and four. A and four. A4. Yep. Sunk your battleship. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So anyhow. Anyhow. This... And it's running about nine years old. Mm. According to the date on the back. I know with Rare Breed, they're going 6, 8, 12. And then they do combos. Mm. God, that Rare Breed. That is really good. Great, great caramels, uh, which you, I, you can't really go wrong with that. I mean, mm -mm. if if that is the clear winner, which I, I have a feeling we're not going to have a clear winner. You might have to wrestle over this one, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Never thought you'd ask. <laughs> My dog's running away when he heard that. Yeah, it's, that's, that's good stuff. I'm with Al on that. It's solid. I'm going to move to the... A quick question, though, because Al did mention that. Al, have you had the uh, Russell's Reserve? Oh, just curious. That is a good question. Because Al being all the way over there. Yeah, I don't know what's available. Yeah. But the fact that they get rare breed over there, or maybe you had it somewhere else, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, which isn't a good thing either. If you're still with us, Al, put that in there if you've ever had it. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move to the, yeah, I'm moving to the Russell's Reserve. Now, see, quick. I'm getting more of a, man, what? I want to say like, Definitely a sweeter, more like cherry on on the nose. Yeah, I'm getting more of a wood influence as well. I'm noticing the wood a lot more on this. That's just because I said uh, I wanted to wrestle you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Um, a lot of the it, there's it's almost like a bleeding black cherries. See, oh, do you see that? Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Did you see that? You should like write reviews. <laughs> <laughs> the bleeding black cherry. But it is like darker. Fruits. Oh, he has had the Russell Reserve. Oh, he has. Oh, excellent. Oh yeah. Uh, so he's he has already has a clear winner. Oh, he's right on the money with it. Yeah, I think I say the Russell's Reserve. Um, definitely fruitier than the yeah uh, rare breed. And I'm getting almost like grape and cherry and more of that coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's the nice woody notes in there. Teeny bit of nuttiness, but it, it's it's like kind of a not like peanuts or peanut butter. It's it's not like that. It's more of like definitely roasted, but not like a Jim Beam roasted nut that you get where it's like we're well, actually crazy getting nut. like a nut. Yeah, yeah, it's more kind of like I think you've said it before. The shell. Oh man. All right, I'm going in. You're going in? All right, cheers, buddy. Pretty wow. close, actually. I mean, they, there's a lot of similarities. There are differences, but there are similarities as well. Whoa. That's a fruit bomb. I'm getting... Well, see, I'm, I'm not... It's not overpowering me with fruit. No, 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 no. But, like, I'm seeing more similarities than differences, so now... Now I really gotta really gotta focus here. 
buddy, at Russell's Reserve. I'm telling you, it's, it's whoa. Uh, it's got it's more explosive the palette than than the rare than rare breed. It's what I'm noticing just off this tasting. It's just the the flavors is just exploding. As soon as it like, as soon as I'm going in there, the initial palate, the finish, I'm still tasting it, even sipping after water. Yeah, it's def it's definitely hanging on. I'm getting a little bit more cherry grape kind of flavor with it, but oh, this is tough now because there's but there's still similarities. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, we're Will saying that is Russell's Reserve is darker, maybe d darker notes. And then yeah, it, like um, darker fruit, or may yeah. or maybe it's the color. Or, I don't think they looked they looked pretty good color wise. Looks pretty similar, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! You hurt my ears, you asshole. Uh, no, um, I mean to me, I mean, man, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, putting them next to each other, they're very close. Unless you're talking about actual fruit colors, and we're just being idiots. Yeah, that could be. That's a possibility as well. I already am an idiot, so it's all good. I'll just admit it. Who told you? Who told you that? I don't know who, told who tells me. you these things. I think my father told me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dennis, if you're watching, sorry, sorry. I even got the glasses on tonight. I'm trying to look smarter, and I really am. You know what I mean? Wow, whiskey Al. Yeah, come beat us up, buddy. I figured you'd hit the. Hit the unsubscribe, but I didn't think you'd come all the way. <laughs> you, but you probably would whoop our ass, Al. You'd whoop our asses. Well, at least my ass, because I can't fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fighter, not a scrapper. Neil's a lover. I'm a lover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I try to be, but I always end up getting into a fight. <laughs> That's true. You're bad. Trying to get buddy. loving. Uh, anyway, all right. I'm going to do a little, uh, you know, cleanse the palate. Yeah, right? it's cleanse the palate. I'm going to go back to the rare breed. So as of right now, rare breeds coming off for me. I'm going to speak for myself here, buddy. It's here. coming off a little spicier. Um, a little bit kind of more muted. and But it's very well balanced. Extremely well balanced. I mean, it's, it's, it's just hitting all cylinders. Um, it's just not popping as much as the... Russell's Reserve, which is a little bit more fruit characteristics. I'm noticing the oak a little bit more. Um, it's still very, 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 very balanced, but just the finish in the palate just pop for me. They're just right. it's just full of flavor. It's a it's a it's a rush. Hmm. I gotta go back on it because I don't want to say all that. And then I might go yeah. back and this has opened up a little bit. That's true. Hmm. I don't know. Got to do it scientifically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying there. Rare breed pick? Oh, hell yeah. Like Jimmy Russell just like comes out and be like, all right, here, here's this is the one. secret bottle that he keeps in his desk. Oh, yeah, I want the bottle that he has in his office. Yeah, I've seen video of that. Son of a dude, Jimmy's a rock star. So is Eddie. They're both. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine having that stars. job? I mean, I think oh there's definitely God. a lot of responsibility. That Holy comes on. hell, yeah, and he's traveling. I mean, Jimmy was traveling. So is Eddie. I mean, they're both just traveling, just spreading the, the word of wild turkey. And um, the wild turkey still, still like, I just, I think these millennials, which I'm, I think I'm a millennial. I think I am. I think I'm a millennial. What is, does anybody know the exact where that cutoff is? It ver. I think it varies, but I am not. They, uh, millennials don't tend to, all the surveys, Have whatever, think together, Flavia or something <laughs> like one of those uh, big, big like you know beverage play, you know, mm -hmm. saying like, okay, well, who's ordering what? And apparently, Wild Turkey wasn't even on the top ten list. It was like, well, I think a lot of things go in popularity too. Yeah, you know, I remember when like all of a sudden Grey Goose vodka was like everybody that that was the thing to drink. So I think there mm -hmm. is some marketing, some trends, and things that happen, but I. Wild turkey sure isn't going anywhere, and 
you. Thank God for that. <laughs> oh, J Jason says 1980 is about the ballpark cutoff. I'd say, I'd say, yeah, because it, it, I've seen a couple different numbers with millennials and whatever, but I think that's a good cutoff. It's technically, my brother's a freaking millennial. Is he? Yeah, yeah, I guess he is. Yeah, 1982. Wow. Pressman, I have not. Jeff, have you? What's that? The Rare Breed Rye. I have not. Because I don't think I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. I'm going to get that son bitch in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, Neil likes himself a rye. So I do. I do. It, when it becomes available, he will get his paws on it for sure. Oh, the paws will be on. They'll be on there. Another really, the, um, the Saffle. What was that WD, WB Saffle? It's like this little bottle. And they used, I guess they're they're it's turkey actually in the bottle, but it's like what they picked to put in the you know to put in the bottle right. is apparently really good. I haven't had it. I haven't had it. So I'm I'm I've seen it actually at Bourbon Street. What what is it selling for? For a little, I think it's a three seven five. For like, I think it's like fifty bucks. So it's it's a little up there. Um, I think it was around fifty. Yeah, start delivering pizzas or something. It makes some extra money. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Oh my All god! All right, so we got we got to yeah we got to get back. We're getting off track. Sorry, everybody. Typical millennial just babbling on. <laughs> Shut ADD. your mouth, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> okay. Now going back to the rare breed. I did the same thing. Clean the palate. Wow. Those caramels in that rare breed are fantastic. Okay, so really what's coming down to is we are splitting hairs. We really are. And they are they are very they're different with taste profile. But, but there are a lot of similarities too. A lot of similarities. Yes. It does taste like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. And wild turkey, you just mentioned before we got down here, is they use the same mash bill for every one of their products. <laughs> Which is you know, still baffling to me. It is baffling. And but, they get different, you know, by messing with proof points. And they go in a low, low, you know, barrel entry, um, low, low proof into their barrels. So and that we've talked about before. They do the cutting beforehand, you know. Wait, Al, Al's asking a question there. Let me put let me put him up there. Put him up there. What do we got? He's way before the millennial shit. He'll be 50 in October. What? Perhaps we should do a live stream. Would you guys be interested in joining? Absolutely. Count us in. A little birthday live stream? Yeah. Oh, my awesome. God. You know, we did a live stream for our birthdays, but it's all right, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Neil's birthdays are only actually within a few, like, two weeks. Not yeah. Even, not even. Different years, though. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Big We're time. In. Oh, I thought you were talking about the years between our birthdays. I was like, no, nah, it's not. Screw you, buddy. It's not that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason Coates says the saffle's worth it. But, but then, and he says, well, this is coming from a guy that's only ever bought a $100 bottle once. Well, guess what? I don't even think I've never bought a $100 bottle. I've, the uh... only closest I've got to was, I think closest I've got to was Booker's. That's the most I've, uh, you splurge. Yeah, spucker. His wife's not here. He could, she's not going to watch this, is she? She might. She might. Yeah. So, no, he's never bought a $100 bottle. <laughs> I don't think I ever. No. All my plus $100 bottles were gifts. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of money for a whiskey. I mean, say say what you want. We were also talking about this before we came down here and started the live was the even like me, like I've, I've pulled the trigger on $50 bottles of bourbon. No problem. Like, and it, it's not a big deal for me, but I still get that when I go into the, you know, the liquor store, I'm like, man, do I really want to spend $50 on this bottle? Like, what am I doing? Right. And that still pops in my brain, but you know, some, but then there's certain bottles where it's like, you've been looking for it and you see it. You're like, well, you know, but I, I know exactly what you're saying. The problem that I see with it is I'll go in and let's say I'm like, I'm going in for a bottle of rare breed. I'm in the mood. 
Mm-hmm. Boom. I walk in. I go right to it. I find it. Pick it up. Then I start looking up and down the aisle. Then I start second guessing. And then I start saying, well, you know, I've had it for, I've had this several times. Is there anything else I should try? And then before you know it, it's like, well, maybe I'll buy two. And mm-hmm. then it turns into a thing. And then you leave there and you're at like 150 bucks. Yeah. And you're you just know? like, oh man. And then you, you, you start noticing like that. You're and like, then you wrinkle up the receipt, throw it out. <laughs> <so> the- <laughs> As <laughs> Jason, great advice. You're right. If you're married, all whiskey costs $50. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, nothing above 50. It's like, oh, wild turkey 17 year bottle and bond. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah. It was, it was on sale. Right, it was on sale. No, actually, that's I agree with him on that, but my wife's pretty slick with that. Yeah, she'll know. My, she'll, yeah, and she'll my, know. My wife, she's she's now getting into to whiskey. So then, whenever I have a dram, she she wants. She's like, hey, just let me try that. And so I just pour her another dram, you know, and we just kind of share it together. So she's getting in tune with everything, and I probably talk about it enough. She probably sees it, you know. She just so. wants to drink it to numb his voice talking about <laughs> I know, it now. too. <laughs> what's this we got a cool running man we haven't seen you in here before welcome welcome to the channel welcome oh my god thank you so much for subscribing hey were you ever in here before i that name it does seem familiar it's been a while though just like i can't remember my own damn name (laughs) maybe not maybe not but one thing i have terrible and it's recall like god must be my age. You get your like, whole life's like. What did I recall. do with that yesterday? Or even even somebody asked you where you went to lunch. I'll like really think about it. It's like where did that go? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! You <He> dropped. <laughs> I hate I, I hate too when you drop something and then you didn't look where it dropped and then you lost it. And then yeah. you're just like it's right there though, yeah. but you can't find it. Yeah. Hey, but cheers anyway. Thank you so much for yeah. Subscribing. Thanks for joining us, buddy, and mm-hmm. thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Wildlife and whiskey's in the house. That's What's an awesome, on? awesome name. Uh-huh. All right. So we have to, I guess you guys are kind of counting on us to, to, to do something here. Yeah. What are we do? What am I? Oh, God. I forgot yeah. my pants uh, today. Where are we? <laughs> forgot to put on pants, buddy. That's all right. Nobody can tell. All right. Good. You could see it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just a little side note about that, since we're all here just sharing. There's some funny videos on YouTube about like, cause a lot of news people were doing stuff from home and there's like a whole bunch of like guys are sitting at their desk and they have like their leg up and they're not wearing, they're wearing like a jacket and a shirt and, tie <laughs> like, and like no pants. <laughs> 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 Worth mentioning anyway. Oh yeah. When you're baby. not watching whiskey tube, you watch that. Man, this is, this is Help coming down the line. wire, but oh yeah. Oh, checking in from Cape May. Cheers to Cape May. Yeah. Beautiful place. Love Cape May. Took the ferry to Cape May from Maryland when we did that century ride and I had to go visit oh, my, yeah, uh, yeah. do my family reunion. They were in they were in um Stone or Stone Harbor. So I took that ferry. Oh, that was cool. Enough yapping. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, Jesus. I'm about to shut my own my own self up. Man, that's tough because now I'm getting well, doesn't matter. I got to pick a winner. (laughs) Baton Rouge. Thanks for checking in, man. Mm. Oh, it's Ron. Yep. Dude, I love your channel. I like, I start watching Ron's channel. Just working the lathe and everything. I'm just like mesmerized. I'm just like, oh my God. Oh, like wood lathe. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He's incredible. Well, he says wood turning, so I imagine it's yep. wood lathe. Those pens that oh my god, make pens out of a barrel, like the whiskey barrel. Make these That's badass cool. pens. That's cool. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Ron's wood turning shop and stuff, don't and forget stuff. That. there's other stuff involved. Um, check him out. He's awesome. Great channel. Yeah, that's a whole other avenue of carpentry mm-hmm. I've not dabbled in. Plus, I don't know if um yeah whiskey uh, straight out. Check his channel out too, and also I believe. I see from Bottle and Bond if he's still in here. And if he's not in here, slick. forget that guy. No, <laughs> yeah. good good channel. Good oh. dude. Definitely check him out. Yeah, he's he's putting out all kinds of content all the time. So thank you, Will. Look, Will. 
You're the man. You're the man. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, buddy. So I, I think I, I mean, going man, into if this, going on the nose though, now it's like, did you switch my glasses around? Oh no, now it's gonna be like the Jameson and the uh, <laughs> the proper twelve. Jameson and proper twelve. We didn't know where the hell we were with those. Okay, I have a clear winner. All right, go ahead. So my clear winner is definitely oh, Russell's Reserve single barrel. I just. It's not that anything I, I can't knock the rare breed. I always loved saying the rare breed. The I can't rare knock breed. rare breed because it's just so effing good. And if you that is good, I rare think breed. what you know, I don't know for my palate right now, I'm feeling the Russell's Reserve single barrel just because it has a little bit more fruitiness, has a little bit more pop. I noticed the the you know, the oak a little bit more, it's got a little bit more, you know, but that's actually starting to drop now. Um. But it's just, I think it's just got a little bit more pizzazz, whereas the rare breeds got two finger snaps. It's two finger snaps. I see that. Where the rare breeds just super solid and balanced and delicious. It's just not as I'm looking for a little bit of excitement right now because it's Friday, right? You seem, to be, a little you bit seem of, to be excited, I'll tell you. I'm snapping. I need to get I need to rock and roll right now. So I'm feeling the Russell's reserve single barrel, buddy. So that's my take. How about you? Well, Man, it is actually closer. I knew it would be close, a little closer than I wanted it to be. Um, because I get indecisive. I want to take one little nip net. Take the nip. Mm. Uh oh, he's contemplating. It is dead silent in here. I can't even hear air moving. <laughs> Do you hear air moving, buddy? When the wind blows, you hear air moving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to take uh, the thunder. Man, that is really close for me. There, I can like I, I can tell the differences, mm -hmm. but I'm not disappointed with either. So this is kind of like, I know. See, this is okay. Where if I go, go with my with gut, buddy. This, go is, your gut. this is something that my wife always tells me: just go with your initial. You overthink things. I'm an overthinker. Paralysis from analysis. <laughs> Go with your gut. Go what you feel initially. And I'm the same. Russell's Reserve. And it's by like a hair. Yeah. And it could just be tonight. It could be. But I'm just, I'm noticing it like hits the palate a little softer. It warms a little like smoother. There's mm -hmm. like a smoothest and then like a little bit smoother, a little bit fruitier. And like a little bit like, yeah, the Nat's ass more flavor. You know, it's just like a little bit. Which is interesting because it is slightly lower in proof point. See, it's kind of like all right, I'm going to make a rap reference here, but like good rap, not okay. bad rap. '90s rap. Oh yeah. So I'm going to say I'm feeling more of like a Cypress Hill kind of night where I want some like in your face kind of shit. And you know, rare breeds remind me of like De La Soul, which is fucking awesome, but it's not like Cypress Hill where it's. Like I'm more raw. I need I need that tonight, and that's why maybe I'm going with the Russell's Reserve. So you're saying Eagle Rare is more polished, and this is a little bit more raw. Exactly. See exactly I, what I'm saying. Okay, in but that analogy, agree, in yeah. that analogy, I do. I that's I find this to be a little bit the Russell's to be a little bit smoother, mm -hmm. and like the spice rolls forward a little bit smoother, like the transitions between all the flavors, and a little bit more flavor. I don't think it's as you're you're kind of saying like the punch and the explosion of flavors, a yeah. flavor explosion. Okay, <laughs> so when you put it like that, damn. I mean, I agree with you. The analogy, mm -hmm. yeah, that's very subjective. It's, it's subjective, buddy. It's still it's yours, but I know what you're trying to say, and yeah, I get it. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either one. I mean, <laughs> Turkey makes good stuff. That's it's just that. Yeah, you just can't. What do we got here? I think I think he's summing up the problem that we're having right now, right? Jason's kind of right on the money with it, right? You prefer right now Russell's reserve, but, but like, like if we did this again, it could completely it could flip. completely flip. Yeah, it's a coin now, toss for sure. So I'm sure Al is pissed, right? But oh no, he's gonna. But for Al, we have let's just call it a monkey wrench. We can throw in the mix. A monkey wrench, buddy. Like Food Fighters monkey wrench? 
maybe not quite like the foos, but a little something we can just add an, a little element of confusion, a little oh. element of additional hijinks, if you will. Am I am I thinking the same You're thing? You're thinking the same thing. Don't yeah. let don't let us fool you. We already talked yeah, about this. Yeah, we talked shit. about this. He's, <laughs> he's trying to segue in and it's not working. Yeah, it's because it's because my ass is sweating so right, right now. So all right. Okay. So this is just a little treat for grins and giggles. We thought about doing it the last possible minute. So we're just gonna pop on. This is something Neil oh. came across. Where'd you come across this? Tell the so, story. I was in Jersey, came across this. It was just sitting on the shelf. And it was only old like last year. Rare, rare breed. Yeah, well, not too old school. This is the it's this is the release school. before. So what is it? It's old 2016, school. I think. 2016. Old school enough for me. <laughs> 2016 is <laughs> old school now, baby. Um, oh, real quick, cool runnings. Um, the Russell's Reserve is a store pick. It is actually Liquor a store Barn. pick from Liquor Barn yeah. in Kentucky. Yep. So we were a little concerned. But you know, I've had other Russell's and I didn't notice a big difference now it's been a few years so yeah maybe we'll have to do a battle of the russells then we're gonna have to i do like this whole bracket thing battle of the russells reserves and then we'll just have a big turkey fight at the end <laughs> <laughs> um andrew from prestige liquids worldwide baby worldwide, worldwide son um he's in the house thank you so much andrew for dropping if you guys are not subscribed to andrew he is awesome he does these awesome challenges he gets channels um, in on these challenges. All the challenges that we've done were all originated from Andrew. Oh, so I didn't dude. know that all of them were. I knew yeah. the last couple were, but yeah. Yeah, man. He's, you know, the Christmas challenge was him. Okay. Okay. The whole, you know, Santa drinking bourbon. Oh, God. Yeah. He's... That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with us. And we really appreciate the challenge. And at that Christmas one, we put some thought into. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it was a lot of fun. So very cool challenge. And the local one, too. We, really kind of made us explore local stuff and it was it was kind of cool yeah realized that we have some pretty good stuff locally that i think gets overlooked gets extremely overlooked i, I wish we could like send it out a lot easier or get you guys to try some of the local stuff we have like especially here in pennsylvania some of the rise like the dad's hat and stuff if you can try it if you're in the rye you know def definitely try it yeah in pennsylvania style so dad's hat's doing a pennsylvania style rye which they do um they do not do corn in there so and it tend it pennsylvania style rye tend to be if you like rye you're gonna like it you're gonna like it yeah you're gonna like it. it's different than your kentucky or um maryland style kind of rye, but all right so yeah so for, for everyone that didn't see this this is 112.8 proof rare breed so this is the uh, i believe 2016 release so this is the one before this bottle. So it's okay. the, it's basically Neil found it as new old stock. Yeah, new old stock just sitting on the on the shelf. Which is totally they're cool. still out there, man. I mean, um, so we're gonna kind of throw this in the mix. I gotta pour a little bit more of my yeah, the, I better the do new the same rare thing. breed. Okay, keep your glasses in order, buddy. Jesus Christmas. <laughs> All right, I'll pour a little bit more I'll rare pour a little Russell's for I you. got Russell still here. Oh. You tool through your Russells. I'll fool around, buddy. You tool. <laughs> what kind of tool fixes tools, buddy? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't, even, I don't know where you're going. So, oh, is, is there a punchline to that? No. No. Oh, okay. No, totally. Not. Never mind. I'm starting to run out of room on this little barrel here. All right. So we just poured the the. Uh, now we have the old school. The old uh, little yeah. A little bit more old we're school. Gonna call school we're just call we're gonna school. call it old school. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So I got this is the new rare careful, breed here. Careful. <laughs> this is this is the 2016 release. So I got them right here. So I'm just gonna try them out a little bit. Any takers on which one is uh... way different nose? Way different nose. Which is weird. I think you got it mixed up. <laughs> Why am I only using one hand throughout this? <laughs> you do have two hands. Buddy. I do. Thank God. <laughs> I'm very right hand dominant. <laughs> You're going to become ambidextrous, buddy. I try, actually. Yeah. 
that Enrico? What's going on, Enrico? Hey, what's up, buddy? I know I just brought your comment for somebody else, but figured just saw you in here, so we we'll pop you up on the screen. Um, this looks interesting. A little Aussie distillery. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to give that a shot. Thanks, Andrew. That's interesting. All right, so go ahead, buddy. What we got going on? All here? right, now, now I'm going to get thoroughly. You better confused. get. You better get serious. I'm going to get my act together. Jesus. All right. I don't know why I keep moving them around. I do like weird stuff, dude. I do t like I have these ticks that I do. Like I kind of like I do like this stuff. And I move my shirt. I'm like, uh, dude. I feel you. I it, we all I we all have our things. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, that reminded me of something, and I'm not going to even bother. There we go. How sexy I am? <laughs> yeah, of course. I didn't want to say it on air. <laughs> you just did, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing all three here. I'm not fooling around. You're going all three. All right. Wow. Yeah. There is, there's a little difference going on here. All right. Enough of our yammering. Mm. Okay, of the old rare breed, the old school breed, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit more of like a bread note. Yeah, it's a little doughy. More For of the sure. yeast characteristics maybe popping through, and it's spicier. I'm getting, get a little corn, cornness, buddy. There's some corn popping in. Oh wow! See, okay, cornbread. Now in comparison. Mm -hmm. The new rare breed is taste much sweeter. Oh yeah, much sweeter. Now I'm afraid to try the Russells. <laughs> this is this is. Oh yeah, dude. Flexed. The newest batch, newest release of um, rare breed. It's definitely for for me off the bat. It's 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 smoking the old one. It's it's much. Oh you know, yeah, like creamier. This the old one's a little bit more. I keep touching it like you guys can see it. The old one is is um, I'm getting more of like that doughy bread note. Mm -hmm. This is giving me more like caramels and maple and things like that. That that's one thing I really love. So you're saying I'm not like a sweet tooth guy where I eat candy all the time. So you're saying this is sweeter yeah. than this bad boy. Yeah, turn that around there. Oh Jesus! I'm showing on the back. It's like I'm giving a moon in you with the bottle. <laughs> So you're saying this is, is sweeter than this? Yes, got for it. Sure. Okay, I agree with you. And honestly, so with yeah. that, now I'm, a, I'm I'm wondering how. It's funny how your palate will change as you add and take things away. And what I mean by that is like we've had wine where it's like it was phenomenal with food, but you wouldn't want to drink it by itself because it was just just didn't really mm -hmm. wasn't you know pleasant by itself but once you started adding all those other flavors in it really like morphed with everything big time it, it changes when you go in different orders too oh so the old bottle is yeah it's the 112.8 yep well so it's falling right in between actually the two it's kind of it's interesting because it, it it is very similar, obviously, to the other rare breed. It um, is, but, but it's quite different. But it, yeah, and as silly as that sounds, it's real different, but close to the same. It's you're noticing the differences, but there's still that that underlying turkey in it. There right. is. I, I honestly, I would say this isn't as. So I would say that this, in my, this right here is not as refined and and balanced as right. this. So this is a little like sharp. Little kind of sharp on the edges where this is smooth and rounded. Yeah, and um, that's a good way to describe it. Well, I'll take this one off your hands, buddy. Just God, take, you know, take, yeah. get, get your paws off it. Um, now compare. Okay, so we're kind of ruling that out now. Yeah. So now we got to go back to the battle royale. So, now, how do you feel because about the two again? Because I, I don't know. I feel like. Once I had this, I noticed more things in that. Yeah, it's honestly, and then I tasted the Russell Reserve kind of in between the two, and then I went back and 
went, I did the old rare breed and then the new rare breed. I kind of mixed the order up. And I noticed that the Russell's Reserve, those wood notes really um, pop out from me. And the fruit notes, the fruit notes really are there. And that's what distinguishes it between the two rare breed brothers <laughs> or sisters. Or sisters. Um, we won't discriminate here. No, no, no. Not bourbon buddies. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like it, it's kind of, it's really cool to see how much a batch can, you know, these, like these two, like how they can differ, the two rare breeds. And then the same distillate being wild turkey in Russell's Reserve, single it's barrel. Again. It's just, it's mind boggling. It me. really is. It, it makes you kind of like think about like if you just went through and like picked 10 barrels and lined them up and tasted them all, how different would they mm -hmm. be? Oh, Patrick, good comparison with. Um, yeah. And I, what's up, Patrick? Uh, yeah. Would you agree, buddy? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. It does have that that kind of vibe to it. Mm hmm. It does. It's it's it kind of does have that, you know, that citrus note, which is definitely. Yeah. And, and see, the old one doesn't. The old no. one is, is I'm getting more like bread and dough and, mm -hmm. and that kind of I don't want to even say yeast. It's more dough. It is. It is. It doesn't have that yeasty kind of thing going on. It is doughy. It is. Almost Which up. is interesting to me that they marketed this one and then marketed that one, and it's it's different. It is, man. It really is. None of them are bad. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god, Uncle Buck, are you freaking serious? That is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh. What's it? What did you pay for it today? It was 46. 46 here. Shit. And I, I mean, I think it's, is it worth 50 bucks? Yeah, I mean, but it'd be nice to get it for 43. Yeah, I hear you. You know? <laughs> oh, Buck. We give you, we, we, we're going to yeah, say, we're going to have a moment of silence for Buck now. All right, it's good enough. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's 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 tough. But I okay, so we're still saying Russell's is the clear winner, or now are you confused? <clears throat> I would say Russell still is the clear winner. So why don't you hold that? Why don't you put that to the camera, buddy? All right, there we go. Oh yeah, get that arm workout. That's the clear winner. Yeah, but, I mean, but well, we're clear winner when we're splitting hairs. Yeah, but we're gonna go with that in the old school one. So the new school is better. Mm -hmm. So really, if you get your paws on any of it, you're fine. Exactly. And I, I know with Russell's Reserve single barrel, it's a little it's finicky around here. We mm. haven't seen it in a while. I know we not. used that's one of the reasons why I haven't had it in years. Got scared. It we just couldn't find it. We see the tenure all the time, but yeah, the tens here all the time, which is damn fine. Yeah, that is that is yeah. very good. But the single barrel was was very difficult to find. And I actually I just bought it because I was there and was like, man, I haven't seen this in probably like two or three years dude so it's... i just grabbed it and figured it's been a while and when i opened it and had a little bit i was like man now i remember why i like this stuff so much so i was mm -hmm. i was happy about it yeah i don't know what's happening with the distribution around we've us. we've had a really hard time turkey products for a it's while it's been weird yeah especially with our new jersey connection <laughs> connection <laughs> connection um, like we're getting it out of the bag of a truck or something <laughs> But in Jersey, I, I've been having a really hard time getting. I don't even. I mean, the only things I see there, I have seen rare breed. Um, I don't even see Russell's ten year there. No, I didn't. Well, when, last time I was there, I didn't see any any Russells. Yeah, any rare breed. They had one hundred and one. Oh, that was it. Which I mean, well, I love one hundred and one. One hundred and one solid, but it's you it's know, not, it's not rare breed. It's not rare breed. That's for sure. Hey, oh man, so. Neil's gonna auction off this old school bottle. <laughs> yeah. Give me thirty dollars. <laughs> no, it's 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 cool though to have something that I mean I know it's not that old, it's not like a dusty bottle, yeah. but to find it where we live, that's that's pretty cool. It is. I mean it just shows you that if the you go to the right store, sometimes like these little stores, if you go to them. Or even big stores. It, it all depends on who's going in there, right? So if you go into a little store that's literally have has dust on the shelf, like right? a mom and pop shop, especially Wild Turkey, check the back. Um, even even just check one, Wild Turkey One Hundred and One because 
they might not have sold all their older stuff and they kept them on the shelf. So if you look in there, you might see some old shit in there. And, you know, hey, and if it's like, you know, it's it's cheap and go for it. And you might see an older rare breed, but I would, you just look. I always look in the back of the, anyway, and I just look behind all the bottles. And I'm like peeking around. <laughs> Neil's that guy in the store. Like on the floor of my around. knees. Yeah. <laughs> People like the, somebody's walking around trying to just get like, they're just like picking up like Jameson off the, nothing against Jameson. I love Jameson, but some people's just t- picking Jameson off or Jack Daniels or Southern Comfort or whatever. Southern and Comfort. And I'm there my, my knees. I'm like, ah. Yep. I got I to gotta check everything out. Yeah, so all right, Russell's is a clear winner. So yeah, I'm gonna lose a couple friends over this. And <laughs> well, Al, he says, um, this has been a fantastic stream. It clearly shows the intricates between very similar whiskeys that you really won't pick up properly until you do them side by side. That's very true. Mm-hmm. That is actually very true. And that's kind of what brought this whole thing up. It was like Man, I've never had the two back to back, so I wouldn't know. It remind me reminded me of Rare Breed, like I could tell it was a Turkey product, but it was like, mm-hmm. hmm, let's. I wonder how they compare, and they're like, because you always wonder, are they putting the same stuff? And you know what I mean? There's that little part of you that's like, eh, yeah. you know, are they putting the same stuff in different bottles and labeling it? And like, you know, because there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes with sourcing and labeling and marketing and it just kind of makes you wonder what you're really getting what what are you really getting so yeah i agree with al al seems to be on point all the time dude al's totally always on point you know he's the man he really is we have budas budas 829 budas 829 i like saying that budas i probably i'm probably saying it really bad um, Russell's Reserve store pick forty seven ninety nine here in New Jersey. Oh my god, that's so cheap. Oh, and then J- <laughs> Jason says, "Doesn't everything in New Jersey come off the back of a truck?" Yeah, probably. <laughs> at least at one point it did. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, the cool thing about, I would say, wild turkey, is that. Wild Turkey keeps it keep I would, real. Yeah, keep they really real. do. They keep it real. They don't like mess around with stuff. They're not like, they're not getting cute. They're not like, you know, all over the place with everything and throwing it. I mean, they're, they're solid and you can always, you, typically with Wild Turkey, you, you know what you're getting, right? You know what you're getting. You know, you're, you're getting, getting a solid, a solid product. product. Yeah. You're most likely not going to get something that's like, going to be like not going to get a dish water or anything in there no yeah. no yeah. that's true i mean that actually was the first distillery i ever toured it was wild turkey it was wild turkey and my wife and i did it just for grins i wasn't even mm-hmm. drinking whiskey then but i remember that we we did the tour and we were like because we we're driving home and um like hey let's just swing in and do it and that that was the one that was there and uh she's not a big whiskey drinker she did try everything, but I was like, oh, you don't want to waste those samples, you know? So I remember just like, <laughs> I had to sit in the car for a little while when we left. But it, it was it was amazing. It was Eat an crackers. amazing place. Yeah, it was an amazing place. And they were like really cool people and just, and 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 I never would have thought, see, because we've talked about like, like 101 mm-hmm. gets a reputation or Wild Turkey gets a reputation of like that cheap college whiskey or that mixing whiskey. And it, until you really get, Get, dive into it you don't realize mm-hmm. like a lot of people don't realize that they make a whole bunch of other stuff that's really good it's not just not just bottom shelf whiskey you know yeah. what i oh mean and it's God. like yeah you know just mixing whiskey or whiskey to to, to mm-hmm. pour in whatever you're doing just to add alcohol you know oh yeah they actually make really good stuff and it was um i don't know i just i always gravitate towards what they do you do you, like we always say you have a turkey mouth yeah, you I really I just do. love it. I just think they're they make, and not not that I don't like other stuff, but it's just mm-hmm. everything they make. I seem to really kind of get into and appreciate. I I think that they just, they just have a balance about them that um that's really cool because like they don't have a crazy high rye mash, but I think it's what 13 percent rye or something like that. So it's not like crazy high, but it's just enough to give you 
um, you know, good good spice kind of kick in there. Right. I, I, with their yeast strains and everything, I, I I don't know what yeast strain they're using. I know they, they I think they're just like one yeast strain. I, I don't know. If I, I don't when, know that. When I remember on the tour, yeah, is that they they use the same yeast strain. They they constantly produce right. it. It's always being rolled over and and. and they want that consistency. Yeah, and they use they use that one, and they continue to to basically grow it and use it, and right. that's that. And you know the fact that it's one mash bill, it's just amazing the variation that comes out of mm-hmm. all the other factors. Because you figure they're using if they're using the same mash bill and the same yeast, everything else must be barrels and aging. Yeah. You know, and to have this much variation through things where you can say we can market this as a different product and that as a different product and that as a different product is is pretty wild about yeah. the whole like artistry of of making whiskey. Yeah, it really is, man. Or any spirit for that matter. You know what I mean? And like you know, like we said, we came from the wine thing. Wine, pff, you could you could have a vineyard that you love, and the next year the wine is like, yeah. I love the Merlot from this place, and then next year it's it's different. And that was what was always cool when you look at it is, is a lot of people want consistency. And I get that. They want right. to like open a bottle of 101 and taste like 101. And I get that. But to me, it's all about just constantly having something new to try. Yeah. I mean, there's there's so many there's so many products out there right now. It's 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 pointless to kind of like just you know to um, limit yourself to one thing. Unless you're really you miss I mean, out. unless you're like really if you're not open to expand, you'd be like, no, I just want to drink. Like I'm not into like, you're into just having Jack and Cokes. Cause you'd like Jack and Coke. Jack. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But if you're, but they might not be, they might not be like, I don't want to try with, like, I don't want whiskey. I'm not really into whiskey. Whereas like, but it, honestly, they want something because it's familiar and they know what right. it is. Yep. Yeah. Because Jack, I mean, Jack and Coke, the combo does taste really good. And I think Jack and Coke, is it's a solid combo um jack the black label like the the regular stuff it's just if you do it neat i'm like not into it just not into jack daniels the black label, the regular jack daniels no. 80 proof i'm not into no. that um i but- had that i had that i remember the first time i had it and i was just like at, it was after i got into whiskey mm-hmm. i think i was at a wedding i know i know i was now that i remember it and i was like oh you know what whiskeys do you have? And that's what they had. And I was like, oh, all right. And I was just like, this stuff, it's a shame. Yeah. And I can't believe people drink this stuff. You know, when you've had other good stuff and there again, you're not breaking the bank to have better stuff. No, and at least in my eyes, what I consider better. So, Hey, if you like, yeah, you discriminate. If you like Jack Daniels, it's God not bless cheap you. though. Jack Daniels isn't like cheap stuff. It's like, I think you can get it. It's in the high twenties. Sometimes they jack that up to like the low 30s. I I've think it, I think so. they just did a really good job marketing. Not that they yeah. don't make some other Oh my god. Oh, their barrel think, select, barrel proof stuff. Yeah, and their single barrels even. Just Yeah. Neil got me that for my birthday. I think it was a birthday one year. Yeah, that stuff's knockout. And good. I was like I was blown away with yeah. what was in that bottle. It's knockout. I'm good. still using that bottle for my Infinity bottle. It's so good. That's and there's still some of that. I left like a little bit in the bottom to start the infinity barrel or bottle. And I was like, this stuff is just awesome. That's why I'm not wearing pants right now. It's because of, of your infinity bottle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb got a what's up, Zeb? He got um Booker's 201606. Where'd you find oh. that? He was digging in the back of the shell. Damn. He's swimming through the old stuff. That's what you got to do. You got to swim. Sometimes the bookers are the same way because the price for bookers, some people will look at it and go, no way. I'm not paying that. And they sit. And then it sits. They sit. Yeah. A lot of those bookers sit. So you can get some older releases, which is kind of cool with that. You which know? might happen now with all this COVID crap and, and stores closing down. There could be some good old stock laying around. There could be. Hard times. People's not spending that stimulus mm-hmm. money. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Buying cheap stuff. <laughs> yeah, cheapy cheap. So I, I wanted to ask you, what time we got here? We got 8 we, o'clock. We're on an hour. We, 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 we can hang a couple I more I can minutes. hang for a little bit, yeah. yeah. We can hang a couple more minutes. I am working tomorrow, but... Sorry. Yeah, we can't, we can't have you too late. We can't stay up too late tonight. I wanted to ask everyone, including in the chat, since we do have, what, 16 people with us right now? As, as uh, StreamYard's saying, because StreamYard's... 
typically behind everything. So, um, but if what you say, they could be listening. Yeah, they're gonna clip, shut us down, shut the lights, go off in the house. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> they're watching. But the the question I, I had is. I've been very. I mean, this is kind of kind of whiskey related, but not really. It is. So I've been thinking of music, and I was looking at. I was thinking about the whole, um, uh, like bands or musicians or celebrities doing whiskeys and all that whole. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just saw today. I saw the the Terry Bradshaw one. So Terry Bradshaw from uh, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback. Um, My dad likes that guy. Does he like that guy? He does. So he is funny. He, he oh god, he is man. He just came out with well, put his name in, on you know the bottle or whatever. Just came out with a whiskey, and um, it just kind of got me thinking because I, I know we've talked about this before with the celebrity kind of stuff. Um, I I mean you see it in all the the spirits like you know tequila. You see it with vodka a lot. You see it in the <clears> wine <throat> world. Yep. Um, Cognac and, and all that. Yeah. You even see it with Wild Turkey. So Wild Turkey having um, McConaughey on there uh, with the whole Long Branch thing, Matthew McConaughey. And I think with, with Wild Turkey and, the, and that that whole thing um, with Matthew McConaughey, I don't like – I just don't know like – I think Wild Turkey did it better than others. And this is my point is that I think that Matthew McConaughey kind of got in the process a lot more than somebody else who just put their name on something. Right. He wasn't just um, a face. I think he kind of got into it. He the- did get – yeah, he was kind of like – you know, he went there, was working with Eddie Russell and like kind of like tasting stuff. And he was learning a lot. And then, you know, kind of like – I don't know if it was him suggesting the mesquite kind of um, tea bag. <laughs> The mesquite tea bag, uh, um, but that I mean, that's, that's dick, pretty much what it is. Oh god, the mesquite tea bag, just tea bag it in the wild turkey. Um, but I don't know. What's your whole take on the whole celebrity thing? Because I I kind of like I get pissed off about it, but at the same time, like I get it. Like I, I understand this is a it's a business, and you're looking to market things out, and you're looking to get your name out there. And if you can connect it to somebody that's famous, so be it. But I, I personally want to see, like, Maynard <laughs> from Tool, how he did the whole wine thing. Is he makes his fucking wine? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what I mean. He's a very interesting guy. Yeah. And so to sum up what you're saying, I get, like, I get the whole marketing thing and why they do it, and I'm sure it's sold. To me, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't speak to me at all. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I guess I've always been one of those guys that just, I, I try not to follow hype. I try not to follow trends just mm-hmm. because they're trendy. Like, I, I try to just kind of be a little bit more independent than that. Yeah. So to like buy a whiskey because Matthew McConaughey sits like, well, okay, he's an actor, but what the hell does he know about whiskey? I don't know. Maybe I think he's a good dude. I don't yeah, think he's yeah, a bad yeah. guy. And 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 I think he's gonna draw attention to it, which is good because that keeps hey man, I mean it's like that keeps the whiskey flowing, people buying it and everything like that. I'm cool with that. But there are some things and some things that I saw that I was just like, eh, that's kind of corny. You yeah. Know? But I get it. It's it's a marketing thing, but that's you know, that's my take on it. But yeah. the people who are doing that aren't the people who are making the whiskey. Yes. So you sort of can't lump it all together Mm -hmm. like you can't be like ah like let's say you don't like matthew mccain you're like yeah that guy's a dick or whatever and it's like (laughs) now i'm not gonna buy wild turkey it's like no i mean it's like the people who are making the whiskey and really getting down and dirty with it and 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 giving you this product aren't the people who are making those decisions it's too big for that right yeah so but i get you with the whole thing where it's just like this cheesy because it's like what the hell does he know about whiskey and and even if he likes something like for me, that whiskey, I don't really care for. Yeah, that's one wild turkey product. Mm-hmm. That's probably the only wild turkey product that I I just like. It's okay, but you're not like me, crazy over. I'm I tried it and I was like, at, for my first impression, I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. But then I spent mm-hmm. a little time with it and I was like, this is not that great. And and but it appeals to somebody. Yeah, 
And I, I have to admit, they did keep the price down on that one. Yeah, um, and, and which I was, think, which was and good, I'm a huge you know? fan of Turkey, so it's yeah. like I'm not going to hold that move against them because they're, again, I mean, I'm sure they sold whiskey because of it. And, yeah. and they came out with a pretty cool idea. It's not for me, but right. a lot of people like it. And I think there was, I think with him, he tried to keep it like, like a, a pureness about it. He, he didn't want to come in and like try to like, like Hollywood it up. He just kind of was like into it and he happens to be a recognizable face. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like where some of the celebrity stuff, it's like, well, you know, yeah. What does this guy really know about whiskey? It'd be one thing if he was a celebrity and he was like a, like a big time whiskey guy and he like tweaked something and it was some awesome stuff, but yeah, he's I not, know. I, you see, know, and that's where I, I want to see like, whatever the celebrity kind of get involved in the process even if it's just going to there and you know having that like influence on maybe the the taste of it and saying like hey maybe you know this and i like this and i like this you know just kind of like attempting it rather than just slapping your name on it which um i know that exists but then there's others that do it right you know like um so i think it's kind of cool i, I don't know why I thought- well uncle buck here he brought up he brought up something that i actually i never heard of this mm-hmm Oh, with the Slipknot whiskey, yeah. Um, now there again, that's that blackened, Iowa. blackened with Metallica was pretty good. Mm-hmm. But there again, Metallica, like to 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 kind of bring up another point, they're not stupid businessmen. You know what I mean? Like they're they're a big brand, so they're not going to put them set their name on anything that's not like they hooked up with a great master distiller like they they did it right and they they put out a pretty good product yeah it's um yeah jason saying black and was was better than i expected yeah i agree there's times i get a lot of like a corn note from it and i'm not that crazy about it but as i'm i have a bottle of blackened and as i'm working my way down through um Actually, I had you had tried it not too long ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that uh like blackberry brandy oh, really man. starting to cut through, and that was done really really well, and I, I was surprised at that as well. So here again, it's like, yeah, it, it kind of depends on it kind of depends on the people behind the whole the whole marketing thing whether they're putting out a good product or not. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I think people are like, I would say the consumers are way more i would say sm- like i don't know if i would say smart um i would say intuitive i'm sorry i'm sorry i would say consumers are very, a lot more intuitive of things and they want to have transparency especially in like the whiskey world like if i'm for me i want to know i don't want hiding i don't want like the uh you know a sourced bottle to be like oh well, we created this in a cave in the 1800s and it's been locked away forever. Yeah, and, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want some fake ass story. I want legit, real, to the point, And also tell me as much information as possible. And I think that's where consumers are headed, especially with whiskey. So with the whole celebrity thing, it kind of leaves that whole like, well, you know, what did they do? So if you hear that somebody like a celebrity is like directly involved with it, went there, you know, had input, I think. I really appreciate that. Yeah. And I think yeah. that that's something kind of, you well, know, I agree. I agree with what Al's saying. You know, I, I've never really honestly given a crap what any celebrity thought. They don't live my life, you know, and I'm not trying to say that like a, a jerk, live my, they don't live my life, you know, but it's like, like Hey, bones. they're living their life. They see things as they see it. Now, one thing I have to say, some of the stuff that I saw with McConaughey with Turkey, mm-hmm. he really was like, oh, he was there. He was kind of was impressed by the whole thing, exactly. you know, yeah. oh, but it's awe. like if, if some celebrity just puts their name on it, it's like, eh, you know, I don't really care. If, is it good whiskey or not? What's in the bottle? You know? Yeah. But I can see. And, but then I can see from a, like a business standpoint, you want everything nowadays, especially with, you know in the marketing thing and with social media and everything, name recognition, getting people, you know, followers. Mm -hmm. So somebody like Matthew McConaughey is going to have a lot of followers. So I get it, but he did seem to be like a little blown away by like, he was humbled. He was was like humbled by it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think not that I'm like crazy about the guy. I mean, he seems like a good dude, but it's like, he was like, Wow, like he he really took time 
to 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 absorb the process and really kind of mm-hmm. like be like, damn, this is an art. These guys this is been an doing art. This, this is something that that was yeah. completely overlooked to me. So then that brings it into a little bit more of the public limelight, which mm-hmm. I think is good because I think like the Russells and all that. As much as we don't want our I'm going to use this term lightly, but like our industry to be tainted with this crap. At the same time, it can be, it can be good for the industry, but it can also be bad for the industry. When it becomes just about branding and pumping out product, it becomes bad. But when it comes to like people recognizing Mm -hmm. something and acknowledging these people who've done great work and have made and and, and continuing tradition, it can be a good thing. Yeah. I love how you put that. I love how you put that. It's, it really comes down to how it's handled. Yep. I agree with you. 100%. I, I, I tend to agree with you, buddy. Yeah, we tend to get along. We tend to get along. <laughs> Andrew, we'll see you later, buddy. Have a yeah, great night. Yeah, thanks for stopping in, man. really appreciate it. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to Andrew and Prestige Liquid uh, worldwide, you better. Worldwide, worldwide, son. Worldwide, son. He's got a private jet and everything. Flies around that little Love son that of a bitch. Guy. Yeah. Ugh. Um... <laughs> That's what I was hearing. The Bon Jovi Bon Jovi shit, buddy. Yeah. You know, I was hearing you say that. Yeah, you know I mean? that's really what I was thinking. See, I would have never said that without Bon Jovi. You know what the messed up <laughs> thing is? My wife loves that guy. John Bon Jovi? Yeah. I and, think a lot of wives. And you know what? And guy. I'm just like, really? Really? This guy? <laughs> so me and uh, I'll tell you a quick story. Please. Me and my friend Paul. We're, we were hanging out at his house. It's his wife, my wife, and the two of and me and Paul. Mm-hmm. So we look over. Bon Jovi's on the TV. And our wives were like mesmerized. <laughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? This freaking guy? Like, really? And uh, yeah, apparently chicks dig him. But I think it's the idea of what they think he is. So the yeah. marketed persona of that person. Good. Yeah. It's you know, hard to tell. And I don't think he's now. a bad guy. I actually think he's a, he's a decent guy. But You better not talk smack on John Bon Jovi. I'd kick his ass. He walked through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Coates says something interesting. That's a good story, by the way, buddy. John Bon Jovi. Girls. Um, John's brings into contact with celebrities. And I guess after a decade plus, novelty of I've heard of this person before wears off carries very little weight with me. Yeah, it's all about yeah. the person. Just like a bottle, right? You look at the bottle, it kind of the fancy ass label on it and look perfect, right? It all matters what's inside the bottle, right? I don't even care. Hey, if it's a celebrity did or whatever, if I crack it open and I pour it and it tastes like shit, guess what? Shitty product. Boom. Well, I think it's one of those things too where when you think about it, it's like when you look at a celebrity, they tend to be actors or musicians or whatever. So they're good in that area. Yeah. Right. That's their area. I'm good in certain areas. Neil is good in certain areas. Well, it doesn't mean we have all the answers or, or we're like, you know what I mean? So I kind of look at that way with celebrities. It's like they may be good at acting. They may be good at music better than me, much better than me. Mm-hmm. But there's an area in their life that I'm probably better than. Right. Yeah. That's just how that's just how we we're all we're all equal, but we're all have our different abilities. So yeah. why am I going to buy a whiskey or, or a wine or whatever just because, like, Dave Matthews made it or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. really? I I don't I don't get that. Yeah. But for some people, hey, it brings them into the – maybe they'll try that whiskey or wine or whatever. It, exactly. So and they can go, be good. Oh, I actually really like that. Like, And then they go, well, what else is out there? Right. And then, and then they get into the, whiskey or they get into wine or they get into to, to whatever. Get and so bug. I, can, I can respect that part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know why I was thinking about that, buddy. That seems to be a, like a little sensitive subject for you. There, yeah, it was a little sensitive with that, you know? But, you know. It's trying to strike a chord. <laughs> getting back to, tur- I mean, getting back to, I would say, tur- we did get a question up here, buddy, is have we tried, it was a certain whiskey. Uh, I think Uncle Buck asked us. Um, um you said the slipknot was good. It wasn't slipknot. It was um oh, oh here we is. go. Yeah. So that's the Peyton Manning thing. Peyton Manning or whatever the Mannings with the um I have n- I have not seen it here. So, so in yeah. PA we don't all Sweetens Cove. We don't always get um 
like new releases real fast because it goes we have a like a liquor control board mm-hmm. and it goes through them which it's yeah we state probably, run we so it's like going it. to get your driver's license it's <laughs> slow so uh <laughs> it's the truth you know yeah. I mean, and, and here again you know not to get too into there's i mean like we were talking uh, we haven't oh we haven't dropped that yet, but no, we, okay we gotta drop mind, that video. moving on yeah we gotta drop that video because we have to um we have to drop it because we talked about a little bit of the private versus um you know privatization versus state run and kind of like the the cons and the pros of, of both oh, which both. is kind of interesting yeah. so look for that because we're going to be dropping that um soon nice little clip a little talking oh. point for you guys um I think the Sweetens Cove is done by Marianne Eves. I think she kind of like blended the bottles, but she was um, she was working at Castle and Key Distillery, and then I think she she left that position. She was um, I think the master distiller there okay. for for a little bit. Oh, which um, and then she picked, I guess for the for Sweetens Cove, she picked. Um, <laughs> Can't get away from Dickel, but she picked Dickel barrels. Okay. Just don't and say Dickel juice or you'll lose it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta lose it. She picked some Dickel barrels and then blended them together, got them right. And I think it they're like, I think it's oh, I forgot the age on it. I wanted to say 12 years old. I could be very wrong on that. Um get but your together, <laughs> It would be kind of interesting to kind of see what that's like. But then again, I think the price is a little steep. Um, I don't know what the price is. I think it's, I think, well, that's, that's the other thing. I'm not going to go paying through the nose because some celebrities put their name on it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's Bourbon Night did a review on that. I remember, I, I do remember seeing it. I, I watched that when it, when it was out with, um, yeah, with Chad and Sarah when they did that review. I can't, God, I can't can't remember the damn age on the thing but um getting old buddy i'm getting old but yeah i i don't know with the whole dickle thing is that whole uh so dickle i'm saying a lot of dickle right now dickle bottled and bond la- in 2019 won whiskey of the year over everybody in the whole world right and we again here's this whole thing where um and i've seen a lot of reviews with a lot of people right yeah and that was the 13 year um Oh, is Tim, is the 13 year for the Sweetens Cove? So if, yeah, if, if you know, is that 13 year for the Sweetens Cove? I know it's for the bottom and bond for last year. Um, but yeah, it, it was like, it won the best whiskey. And it was like, all, you know, everyone reviewed it and was like, huh, it's like. Well, there again, <laughs> you can, you can say, all right, well, who is rating this? Do we have just some. Is it a celebrity Thanks, panel um, that's rating it? And there, there's maybe a financial motivation to pick a winner. I would like, hope not. Like you know that, what I mean? Like it, it's that's a big fucking deal. If you have a financial like bullshit it, involved in that, I think that that's bullshit. I, I don't. I think that would be fucked up because then that that's like that delegitimizes you know everything. Yes, I and I, I agree with that. And yeah, I think anything, anything taken to extremes, right? So yeah, but it's like, who is the panel that's judging it? So when we You're right got another pallets, right? So like you know, Neil and I always talk about when we we go in and we're like, um, especially my wife, like we have if a certain wine critic picks it well, she'll like it. Right. Yeah. And you actually, Neil figured that out. Yep. Yep. And um, so here again, it's like, who's on the panel? We, we, we did a video on this whole award winning thing. Yeah. Well, who gave it a word? We could give this the best whiskey in the world review tonight. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's the best whiskey in the world. Right. So, I mean, we may think it is that night. And, and, and who are we to say what you like? So, I mean, basically, we picked the best whiskey in the world. It probably is, but <laughs> <laughs> because we are experts. Actually, no. Yes, we're experts. We're not professionals. We don't get paid, but we're just good at it, right? <laughs> so you could be a professional and get paid. Doesn't mean you're any good at it, right? 
That's true. Yeah. That, that, that's that true. used to be a joke we had in the, uh, I work in the construction trade. So it's like, oh, this guy's a professional. Doesn't mean he's any good at it. <laughs> just means he gets paid to do it. He just gets paid for yeah. it. Yeah. So that's really what professional means. Doesn't mean you're any good at it. So <laughs> <laughs> I think what, it, yeah, it all comes down to taking the, <clears throat> take the whole snobbery. Uh, bourbon's not about snobbery anyway. And that's why I love bourbon. And that's why I love the whole bourbon community. Take the snobbery out. If you, you know, just enjoy a glass of bourbon. You know, and the thing is, like, yeah, we got the Glen Cairns and everything, but like, I really do. Like, I sit by the fire. I have a little, you know, a little, um, what do you call those out Fire there? pit? The fire, thank you. Jesus. Oh, I'm starting to forget my name now. Thank you, buddy. Um, but yeah, I sit by the fire pit and just, you know, pour a, pour bourbon into just like a little, just a glass, whatever glass. Like, you know, plastic do, cup. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Cup, whatever that's what it is. <laughs> dude, that's what it's meant for. Like, it's just meant to kind of start the conversation up. Of like, just talking with your buddies. Um, we did a little of that not you long. Know, your ago. friends, yeah, yeah, we did, man, Last for weekend. July Fourth. Yep, yeah, and just kind of sparking up a good conversation, reminiscing, talking about future. Not the rapper, but your future. <laughs> Damn future ruined everything. But I mean, and, and and there's nothing wrong with getting into it and exploring it. But at mm -hmm. the same time, it's it's one of those things where. It's subjective, and I think you need to become confident in um, what you like, mm -hmm. and there is no right or wrong. And I think that's that's hard for people nowadays. It really it is because they're looking for. I think the whole like our whole society is based off of you know. Okay, well, if I don't know the answer, I'll look for it and I'll get the right answer. But there's there's some things that just don't have an answer. And, and that's hard for people now. It is hard for people. And, and that's where bourbon comes in. It's like, hey, you know what? You could have took out old crow, bottle of, you know, old crow, plastic, <laughs> whipped it out, right? Hope not. And then you dump it in a solo cup. And then you go, you start sipping it and you have the best time in the world because you're with your friends. And then guess what? You remember that whiskey as being like, Man, remember that time we had that that old crow? And it was just like I don't know. Dark. You're pushing it now. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You have your whiskey privilege. A little yeah, bit. I got whiskey privilege. You have standards, no, buddy. I got standards. I don't um, got any. Okay, as low as possible. Low I'm on the. I'm crawling on the floor to get my feeder. whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like a catfish of the of the bourbon and whiskey world. Um, no, but I mean, it brings up a good point. Like, you can overthink anything, and that's really what it comes down to. You can overthink anything. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there again, some of it's marketed, some of it, and and that's fine, too. But yeah, you got to, everyone's got to make money. You right? sort of have to check yourself and just say, all right, well, what do I like? And and that's, that's my deal. And that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be somebody who does not like Russell's Reserve. Oh, totally. And there's going to yeah. be somebody who picked, you know, these are all good, but let's say our least favorite, one of the three, somebody's going to pick that as their favorite. It doesn't make them right or wrong. And I, and I know we've said this before, but it's like I have people ask me, well, what's a good whiskey? Whatever you like, man. Like there, there yeah. is no right or wrong to this stuff. There's we could you could steer somebody in the right direction, you know, like staying away from certain things. But. Yeah. I mean, like Ron says, just pour Rebel Yell in a fancy decanter. But your ass, Rebel Yell 100. I'll tell you what. Like me some. It's of that. not, it's not a bad whiskey. No, it's not. You it put it in a decanter, you. Ron. You're absolutely right. You just like doubled the price point on that. Boop, be like, oh man, it's like a fifty dollar bottle. Because we were eating it up. That was when we did that decanter. Um, we live. just used one hundred and one to see what would happen. Like we purposely yeah. used an inexpensive whiskey because, but yeah, you had a decent mm -hmm. something decent. Because if you were like put a rare breed in decanter and be like, oh man, it's amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, you you paid for that. You know exactly. So yeah, that's a good point though. That's a very good point. It really is. Um, I entirely agree. It's all about drinking, sharing, and enjoying it with others. And if only that was the way it was today, rather than other crap, the world would be much better. God bless. Cheers. I love that. Yeah. Agreed, buddy. You're out, buddy. You have Agreed to work tomorrow, out. Bro. No, I, I think, you know, and there again, I don't have a problem with people, you know, marketing something, getting it out there. But in the end of the day, it's like, we're so marketed to it's like anything we were saying it again anything to an extreme you know mm -hmm. can be an issue yeah but yeah i agree with al counterpoint oh i like counterpoints 
Oh, it's the, yeah. It brings the debate part of me out. Um, if that's really what it is, what it's all about, the world wouldn't be as it is. Oh, shit. That, that, that's a good point, too. I mean, because... Some deep shit here. <laughs> because if, if you put out... And and I, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Yeah. Um, actually, to in nowadays, what we have to do is take Jason, we just cancel him. <laughs> so we have to do. We don't agree with you. That's it. Yeah, it's it, Jason. You're done. Banish you. No, I agree. You're absolutely right. Because now you come into like, all right, well, now we're going to compete to who has the best whiskey, right? Yeah. So that raises the bar for everybody, right? Because if 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 you just had just like cut rate whiskey and everybody was okay with it and competition didn't exist, yeah, you wouldn't screwed. have better whiskey, right? So we'd all be drinking some like swilled up moonshine somewhere, you know. And it, it, that's a very very good point. It is uh, that that whole uh, tension and differences and everything is, is yeah, what kind of struck absolutely it and very interesting. I like this. Me likey. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah, you gotta strut, baby. You gotta strut when you get to the canner. Yeah, you do. Just do a nice little like this, and just kind of put the your glass in out. one hand, you can't in the other. <laughs> just in your underwear, just strutting around. Oh yeah, or robe up. Yeah, robe up. robe up, jump in the hot tub. Now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So Aussies. I, I, yeah, you're jumping right on the on the train here, buddy. Said it before. If you come to my channel to see what bottle to buy next, you're wrong. If you watch my channel to learn and get my opinion, then welcome. Well, Oz, exactly. now I have to unsubscribe to your channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's a very good point because you're just you're basically, you know, different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? It's like, you know. To stroke learn at the left or stroke at the, the right, right, buddy. Yeah, what are you gonna do? No, it's it, it that's a very good point, Oz. That really is. I mean, here again, it's all subjective, it's all what you like, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's it's I mean, it's always interesting to hear what others have to say about something before you buy it, but ultimately you need to try it yourself and and know. Yeah, it's all about making the memories and, and there again, you'll find people that you agree with most of the time like hey their pal like seems like everything he vends or says he likes i like or mm -hmm. man nothing 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 he likes i like you know what i mean and then then you know yeah you yeah. know yeah like yeah because you could look at us and be like man they they said um you know they said let's say new riff you know bottle and bond is amazing but then when i tried it, it tastes like garbage right and it's and that's that's okay you know you you shouldn't have to agree with somebody, especially especially with taste. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's all awesome. because certain people like more taste, uh, you know, certain tastes than others. Like certain people like hot food, and they don't like hot. Certain, you know, you don't like spicy shit. You know, what I mean? no, not real spicy, or not like real spicy. Yeah, you like a little pizzazz. I like a little zing. You like it? Oh yeah, you, you're right. That's how you put it. The zing, zing. But, but you, you don't want to like meal. The stuff he eats is just ridiculous. I don't think my ass can handle it anymore. <laughs> Literally, they'll be sweating and stuff. I'm like, yeah, it looks like a good time. It's too much. Have blood. another hot pepper. <laughs> too much blood, buddy. <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Al's on fire tonight. He really is. Jesus. The fact that many distillers help each other behind the scenes with product while competing with each other in the public really is an um, inclusive industry. Yeah. Um, that's a that's another very good point. They really do. I mean, all those massive distillers down in Kentucky. I think when Heaven Hill caught fire, when the distillery caught fire, back in what the nineties, or is that early two thousands? I forget when it caught fire. Um, they needed like they needed help, so other distillers are like, yeah, we'll fire up the, the stills for you and just like help you make product, and they did that for them. It's like there's your biggest competitor, like Jim Beam, like. Helping out heaven. Well, help. I noticed the same thing in the wine industry too. When like we would tour wineries, and it didn't matter if you were in California, yeah, um, or even locally, it'd be like, "Hey, go check out when you're when you leave. Are you guys going to be tasting again? Go check out this place. Check out that place." And like there was this whole network. Like what was good for one was good for the other. There was no cutthroat in it, and yeah. that's one thing that I noticed. I'm like, 
wow, they seem to be like kind of like a little united front here and and really supporting each other in the local wine industry or even out when we yeah. were in California. It was like, oh, where have you been? Oh, if you haven't checked out this place, go check it out. You know, and like they were always promoting each other. And I thought that was very interesting. So that that's a very good point. Yeah, I like that. A lot of people are making great points tonight. Jesus. Make us look like schleps. That's yeah, we're a bunch is. of schleps. We're just gonna <laughs> start live streaming and listening to you guys. Yeah, we'll just put you guys up. We'll just like click comments the whole time and just sit here quietly. Wouldn't that be a live? Patrick Fulmer, thank you so much for stopping in. Um, glad that you were in here. Yeah, we really out. appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Rebel Yell, I I think that was us. Sorry, Ron. We said it was popular, and you're gonna have to kick our ass now. <laughs> oh, I think that was the Rebel Yell 100 we t- were talking about. We did it, Ron. Um, we did it. Yeah, I actually a buddy of mine, uh, was asking me, you know, what's a good in that price point, and I told him Rebel Yell 100, and I know he had a hard time finding it for a while. So, yeah, I don't know if he's actually even bought it yet. I'll have to ask him. 10-year single barrel. ADHD Whiskey just did a thing today about it. The uh, And he was saying it's like like it has no marketing. What's the, you don't hear anything about it, right? And, but it's this amazing bottle. We both really like that 10-year single barrel. That is that is a delicious bottle. Yeah, and there again, about it. Um, when you pay for a bottle, I mean, how much of marketing are you paying for? Yeah. They spend you know, several hundred thousand dollars on marketing. Well, that's going to reflect mm-hmm. in the price. So. The, p- the fight against sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Cheers to that. Buddy. Yeah. Cheers to that. <laughs> Even though I'm out of, we're like no whiskey in here. Look at this. Three yeah, Glen Karens. I, Four Glen Karens. Yeah, I am working tomorrow. So we gotta stop. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have, to, have stop, to get right? up. So I'm not that's why I'm not hitting it anymore because I'm gonna wake up early and, and get back at it tomorrow. So yeah, you know. Well, I, I guess that's gonna about do it. We've been on what hour and a half here? Yeah, been about an hour and a half. We gotta get you to work up tomorrow, buddy. We don't want you to I'll stay up late in that. and then <laughs> yeah. Be tired in the morning and I get everything loaded up and ready to go. So yeah. I'll get loaded up and not get everything ready to go. <laughs> now we were sitting in the van, just uh, napping. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we want to really thank everybody for hanging out with us. Yes. We got 20 people watching now. How is it now we have more after an hour and a half? It's how it works, buddy. When you're having fun, it's like, ah, maybe a few more minutes then. So <laughs> I don't know. So what is your guys take on all this? Everything. We know we, we covered a lot of bases and we talked about a lot of things, but um, and we really appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Yeah, we really do. I mean, um, it's just cool to be hanging out with people from like all over the country and then all over the world. You know, it's just. This is one thing amazing about the time. There's some crazy things going on in the time we live in, mm-hmm. but this is amazing. You know? Yeah, it's just you're it's hanging fun. out with people who you would never have crossed paths before. No, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And thank you very much, Will. I appreciate the the you know the support with that. Yeah. yeah if you guys it, buddy. Thank hey, you. hit that little thumbs up if you if, I know you have to like cancel out sometimes and then hit it. It's weird when you're on YouTube sometimes if you're on the computer or if you're on the computer, it's easy, but if you're on your phone. And Chris, no, you're not late, man. You're, you're right on time. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. <laughs> Never late. You Never were late. here when you were supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly drink more bourbon that's all that's the penalty yep yeah, pretty much just whip out up. five bottles and just do like a nice like just three pour. finger pour just like a... you get all weird yeah um al we love you too guys yeah al thanks for hanging out with us man really appreciate it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. if anybody isn't subscribed to al definitely check him out and ozzy as well at bottle and bond check him out and Will, thank you so much for hanging out, man. We yeah, really we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. You're here a lot, man. We really, we really appreciate that. Always supporting, you know. Ozzy from Bottle and Bond. Yeah, Thanks. man, absolutely. Thanks oh. for for chilling with us tonight. Oh yeah, we definitely we should collab, man. I, I see he he commented before saying we should get together sometime, and he's only four hours away. Yeah, that's I not think, bad. I think it's Maryland. Maryland. Where are you at, Oz? 
Oh, Jesus. Are you knocking off the, the rings? Oh, no. Dude, these things are coming off because it's getting dry, the uh, the barrel. Yeah, so the barrel here is getting dry. Yeah, the rings. One day we're going to be doing a live. It's going to fall out and fall apart. <laughs> I need to rehydrate it. it. Yes. It stole the words out of my mouth, buddy. I know what you want to say before you say it, buddy. A wizard is never late. It always arrives precisely when he means to. There you go. Bet your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Virginia. Oh, Virginia. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot, Ozzy. I'm an idiot. Virginia, beautiful state. A lot of oh. craziness going on down your way right now. At least Be- I don't know exactly where you live. but Beautiful state, though. Absolutely oh gorgeous. God. Chris, I've not got – Chris was saying before about – the uh, Pike Creek Canadian whiskey. I've heard of it. He I wants us not... to try it. He said, definitely try it. I was right. thinking about picking it up. Have you seen it? I've seen it. Yeah, we we have it around us. God, I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll pick it up. Is Chris in Canada? I believe so, yes. What what part of Canada are you in, Chris? Because oh, I believe you're in you're ca- Canada. I think you're in Canada there. The um, bourbon shirt. You know, my wife got me this for christmas i don't know where i where she got it oh it's from ranger up dag nasty <laughs> dag nasty so i knew this dude that was big time in the punk rock yeah so i know all about dag nasty yeah. da- okay yeah um well i'll uh i'll email you Asi, and then we'll um we'll get it all rocking and rolling we'll get our schedules linked up and we'll kind of go for it we'll do it do it up. Yeah, I mean, because Virgin- yeah, Virginia, Virginia Virginia is an awesome, like, beautiful state. Like I said, there's some craziness going on right now down beautiful there. Beautiful state, though. Feel for oh. you with some of that stuff going on, but um, beautiful state. Me and my wife have vacationed there many times, and we we've actually considered like maybe even moving there. Gorgeous. There for a it's just it's just beautiful down there. Yeah. Oh, buddy. There you go. Mm-hmm. You know that's you were very much. In the I was in the hardcore scene. for a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole hardcore scene is like, man, there's some really good hardcore there, bands back in the day. Yes, there was, and like the straight edge, like the straight edge kind of Christian hardcore bands are really good. Yep, there's some good stuff in that. Really good stuff. Well, hey, I I think, I think I'm I'm I think I'm, I'm Neil's ready, ready to, for bed. I'm ready for bed. My dog's up there panting, and he wants to like. Where, the hell, where did he go? Oh, he was here upstairs. for a while. I think he went upstairs. Where'd it go? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going to. All right, everybody. Thank you again, home. man. We really appreciate everybody hanging with us. Um, Chesapeake, only two and a half hours away. That's that's a good point. Um, oh, I'm yeah, going to say Neil's address here online. No, it's going to be better not. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, as we we are very close, so we'll, we should get together sometime and just maybe we'll do like video or something or something. Get together and yeah. just pop on live or something. Mess around, do the mess around. Well, we got those um, samples that we haven't dug into, Aussie. Uh, so we should get you on a live. And we should do that very soon. And we actually, they're talking about my sister doesn't live far from DC. There you go. Who is actually getting married tomorrow? I understand you guys have a lot of questions about that, but the legal the legal stuff's happening tomorrow. Oh, your sister? Yeah, because of all the COVID, she couldn't sister? get married, and oh it was God. like a whole big thing. And so they're 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 doing all the legal stuff tomorrow, and they're gonna have a ceremony later. Dude, that's awesome. So yeah, it's very cool. Well, let's cheer. Let's cheers. Let's cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to your sister. sister getting married tomorrow. Yep. Cheers to all you guys. Thank you so much for stopping in. Yeah, we really this appreciate everybody. Time. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for uh, just spending some time on Friday. And yeah. being interested in the bourbon and thinking we're cool enough to hang around. Keep the love. <laughs> uh, people are signing out already. That's how. Uh, yeah, they're like, yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. Have a good night. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Adios. Cheers. Cheers.